the day that the letter comes in that says, congratulations, you have paid off all your student loans, and I'm gonna be like, shit, has it really been like 150 years since I graduated? <laughs> All right, guys, are you ready for your next comic? Let's hear it. Let's keep this going. You'll get applause and applause, but let's keep this going. This next comic has been at New York Comedy Club. She's been at Eastville, and she has been here plenty of times before. She loves being here, and she will love you, and you will love her. Ladies and gentlemen, Donna Maysell. What's up, everybody? Give it up for Molly and everybody else. Free stuff. I love coming up there for free stuff. I feel like there should be like a birthday cake. We just had the prizes, it was like a pinata, right? Isn't it exciting? Pass out some chips. And you can hand sanitize after the chips. I don't want any right now. I can't have the onion breath right now, the garlic breath. So I'm 44 years old, I'm a single mother of two kids. Woo! Technically they're kids, but they're 17 and 20. So yeah, my daughter, my, my oldest just turned 20. So it's like only one teenager. It is so freaky to me. I really don't even know how to handle it. But I'm doing okay, I'm drinking a little bit more. <laughs> not here, not before I get up, because I'm always afraid of like stutter or like slur trip. It's kind of scary being up here, right? Not, well, you wouldn't know, you're not up here, but anybody that wants to come up and check it out later, come on up individually, I'll give you a tour of the stage. It's scarier though being single at this age. I am like so sad that I'm not in like a third marriage because I was hoping somebody would help me with the bills, you know? But, but seriously, I'm doing the online dating thing too. I recently deleted Tinder because it was just the most depressing thing ever. It's like the adult version of not being picked for kickball. But based on your looks. I mean, I had glasses and braces as a child and that's why I didn't get picked then. But now it's like, I don't think I'm that bad looking. I don't have like a third eye or anything. I have to say going on the dating site, looking for men to pick, it's like, I'm really not that active. I don't do 5Ks. This is now the extent of what I do for Charitable X. And I'm pretty happy about it. I do all my fundraising in this room because I don't want to have to train or do CrossFit or lift things that are heavy and put them up and down. And, no, I'm in the fitness protection program. I just got relocated to a place where people just care a lot less about what they look like. The fitness protection program is cool though. You get the key ring, you pay the dues, you just never see me in the gym. You know what I'm saying? And it's really just because I have a fear of being naked at this age. Because you can package this stuff up nicely in clothes and stuff, but then you like get naked, it's kind of like wet mozzarella. It's been like sitting in the fridge too much, if you're telling you. Sometimes it's soggy, there's lumps in it and stuff. I smell fresh though, I do. I do smell fresh at all times. But seriously, do anybody here on Tinder? Oh. All right, well, the last guy I swiped right with and he actually matched with me. The reason I, can't, I finally like quit the Tinder is because I Google everybody because I'm neurotic. So like say I match with somebody, I would look them up and I would find out who they were because I don't want to be God forbid somebody's other woman. I would like to actually get my own person like, not be the other woman. I mean, for once, whatever. But, right? And the guy's picture came up, and it was actually a mugshot. I, I kid you not. And at first I was like, oh, all right. I mean, like, people go to jail for a lot of things. Could have been, like, petty theft. Maybe he stole food because he had no money to buy food, and then I'd feel bad. And I should get a tax write off for all the men that I've actually helped out in my life, like feeding them, clothing them, housing them. But seriously, I was like, all right, well, DUI maybe. I'm like, you know, I guess I could drive him around. But no, it was sexual assault oh. on a minor. And I have two kids, and I'm like, no. Bad enough I have competition with women out there. My kids are not gonna be my competition for this burger. Anybody here, Caitlyn Jenner now, no longer wants to be a woman? Did anybody see that on social media? I mean, being a woman is not really a job for a man. Can I hear that from the women in this room? That is right, ladies. I don't wanna be a woman once a month. Once a month, I'm like, I don't wanna do this. I mean, it's terrible. I have a business, so I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. 
And uh, I often think, oh, thank you, thank you very much. I know you think this is my only job. <laughs> it's not. Um, this is what I do now on Sunday because I don't like to watch TV. I find it too sedentary, so I come up here. I love it. But um, I, this is my act. I'm working out right now. I should have like a Fitbit on. I'm probably doing a lot of steps up here because I fidget. I move around a lot like I'm a fidget. I'm, like, I'm just going to start doing this. Although, I did take that 22-day challenge for the push-ups for veterans. Anybody else? Yeah. Right? Give it up for that. And I realized that now because social media is requiring me to post these 22 push-ups, it's better than any gym I've ever gone to, any trainer I've ever hired, because I will have 1,275 friends know that I'm not doing my push-ups, not just the people in the gym. But I'm having fun with it. Like, I'm actually pushing up... I, last night I was on a bar. Like, at, anybody here ever hear of the Colorado Cafe? Yeah. Oh my God, such a fun place. Go line dancing and stuff, and not me and a man, but that's okay. So I dan dance on the bar because they encourage you to dance on the bar there. If they didn't, I'd be up there. But at least I don't get taken down by like security at that place. And there was no other woman that wanted to come up. They're all sort of shy. They're like, <laughs> and I'm like, really? And I looked over at my friend. I'm like, get the video rolling. I'm doing my push-ups here. <laughs> I'm like, this is not even a bit, this is real. I mean, friend me on Facebook if you want. You can follow me. <laughs> and then you can find out. But anyway, how about, well, I have done the mirror. Maybe I'll do them again here. You know, it's a different room. Actually, I didn't do it when everybody was here. Maybe, you never know. The losers of the 50-50 can stay behind and I'll actually do it for you. <laughs> so Caitlyn Jenner doesn't want to be a woman. And then there's another man in Massachusetts that had a successful penis transplant. Anybody hear about that guy? Anybody here read the newspaper? <laughs> it's a true story. So this man <laughs> suffered a terrible accident at work. Something fell on his penis. Now, my mind, the way it works, I'm thinking, maybe he works for Hustler Magazine and he was testing out the stuff. Because why else would something fall on your penis and just knock it out of commission? <laughs> I don't know. But they had, to, they, they had to examine him, and upon examining him, they found a tumor. It's very sad. I'm not happy for his cancer. We can do a fundraiser for that next month, okay, Pat? Uh, that and the expansion of the bathroom would be really great. I would love that. I'm five foot one and a half, and I can't even sit to urinate. I'm like, I'm like keeping the door open. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah, so he had the first successful penis transplant. And all these things go through my head, like, God, going to DMV is certainly going to be different now. Like, organ donation, right? Did you ever think maybe that's what they might actually take from you one day? Consider, like, you're going to get that harvested, that organ? Like, would you treat it differently? I don't know. Wrap it more frequently? Use the... Somebody just had an erection. But would you maybe, perhaps, I don't know, stop taking Viagra in the back for Christ's sake. Wait until the end and knock the chairs over with that thing. But I mean, like, would you maybe wrap it carefully or use a better lotion knowing that one day someone might have your penis? If the guy's married, I just want to know, like, women, we like to go shopping, right? I mean, think about how hard it was the last time you had to pick out a couch with your husband. Can you imagine that shopping trip? I don't know. I don't think it matches. Is it gonna fit in the room? And then I mean, too, you think to yourself, when they become intimate, because they say that he's able to um, get back to his fully functioning life within a few weeks. And I'm thinking, if she decides that she wants to, you know, perform the adult act of things with the, you know, you know, right? Yeah. Would she maybe say, same rate, taste, less filling? I don't know. I don't know. But he's going to be on anti-rejection medication for the rest of his life, they said. I think he has a better chance of not getting rejected now that he has a penis again, personally. But, I mean, go figure. They had two other chances to, like, or they tried this two other times. First, unsuccessfully in China. I mean... Could they maybe just not keep it in the tweezer? I don't really know. <laughs> they kept losing the transplant, I think. And then the successful one, Africa. Show-offs. They're always doing good stuff with their penises. And to be even crazier, he fathered a child successfully with another man's penis. 
I mean, that probably happens often. Well, anyway, but so they, 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 they interview. Years later, they interview the child, and he's got two eyes, a nose, he's very healthy, he just has attachment issues. Other than that, he's okay. <laughs> so I'm the cool mom, can you tell? Right? I, it's fun. And I, I actually get to take my kids, um, the class is like a chaperone, and it's awesome because I always have the best groups of kids. They're always like, oh, can we be in your group? Can we be in your group? I'm like, yeah, sure. Where are we going? Last year, we went to Disney. Ugh. Disney is not my favorite place to go with my own two children, let alone a, an airplane full of teenagers. Because they don't get along the entire time. It's like really annoying. Who's fighting, who's this, who's making out. I'm like, what is happening in this place, right? But the most disgusting part of Disney for me is I'm, I'm a vegetarian, right? So pescatarian, I eat fish. Pescatarian sounds a lot like pest, which is pain in the ass for anybody that has to go out to dinner with me because I don't really eat a lot of stuff except for vegetables and fish and shrimp, but I'm allergic with beer, but we're not going out on a date, so I'm not to tell you. That. But there's these turkey legs, right? Is anybody familiar with the ginormous turkey legs at Disney? Yes. It's disgusting. It's like The Walking Dead takes over when you see these people like all gnawing on the turkey legs. But the weird thing is, is we took the class on the trip to um, Epcot, and you go through the tour, and they say to you, oh, and here are all the fish that we make for, you know, we, we sell them here, all the dinners of fish, we raise them here. All the vegetables that we grow are the vegetables that we use for the restaurants. Nowhere on that trip did I see one amputee turkey. <laughs> and it made me think, where are the bodies? People, Disney, what are you doing with the bodies? Not a turkey salad sandwich, right? Nowhere else in Disney do you see anything turkey related. I, th I don't know, I don't, I'm trying to develop a theory, but that's, that's just the craziest thing I've ever dealt with. So last thing I'm gonna leave you with is, for anybody that is deciding to go on social media, could you perhaps, if you're gonna take the time to fill out that god-awful thing that tells everybody, you know, your allergies, your um, income, the fact that you're Jewish or whatever denomination you are, could you put up a picture? Does anybody, has anybody noticed, have you seen that, right? Let's just go on this journey. We go downstairs for a drink. There's about 20 guys at the bar, 10 of them wearing ski masks. <laughs> Seriously, that's what the no picture is to me. Are you gonna go downstairs after this? Sit next to the guy with the ski mask, he's gonna go, hey baby, can I buy you a drink? And I'm gonna be like, did you just rob a bank? Do you have a lot of money? Because you know, the only thing they're really proud of is they've got their penis size on their t-shirt just like they do in their profile. Put your pictures up, people. My name is Donna Bay Sells, it's one of my time, thanks so much.